We move on to 1 p.m. Eastern. Philadelphia Eagles, 8-7, and 5-3 and three on the road at Washington football team, 6-9, 3-4 at home. We're at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Let's start with the market that we are dealing with here in Philly, Washington. Philly opening up as three-point favorites. That's moved to 3.5 or 4. This total opened up at 45.5. We now see 46s on the board. Let's move over to the cash flow in this spot. We have 2,736 tickets in. 73% of tickets on Philadelphia, 92% of the cash. Then 42% of tickets on the under, but 92% of cash on that under. Okay. Eagles beat up on the Giants, 34-10 at home on Sunday. The score was 3-3 at the half. These Eagles have won 6 of 8 after opening the season, losing 5 of 7, and they're now in the 7th playoff spot in the NFC. Jalen Hurts was 17 of 29 for 199 yards, 2 touchdowns, no interceptions. Miles Sanders ran 7 times for 45 yards before breaking his hand. He will not be available this week, but is expected to avoid a stint on the IR, which would end his season. Boston Scott ran 12 times for 41 yards in the touchdown. Jordan Howard ran nine times for 37 yards. Uh, Jordan Howard is now day-to-day -day with a neck injury and may not be available either. It could be the Boston Scott show. Devonta Smith caught five passes for 80 yards in the touchdown. Alex Singleton had 12 tackles and returned an interception for a touchdown. Rodney McLeod also had a pick. TJ Edwards had 16 tackles. The team combined for two sacks and five quarterback hits, but they got banged up. So we also already mentioned Jordan Howard. Nate Herbig sprained his knee, and Kayvon Wallace left with a hip injury, all of whom are listed as questionable this week. Their COVID list includes Andre Dillard, offensive tackle Andre Dillard, offensive tackle Raven Clark, defensive end Ryan Kerrigan, linebacker Sean Bradley. Yesterday they added Derek Barnett, Taron Jackson, and Andre Sachere. And I almost feel like I should look up <laughs> the injury report right now because that was as of four hours ago. I don't want to do this for each team. It's just going to take too long. But I just want to take a look and see if they've added a bunch of players here. Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, no, that's still the same. They have not added anybody on the 27th. Washington comes in off a disastrous performance in Sunday night football, losing 56-14 to the Cowboys. They allowed the most points since 2010. It's the most points they've ever allowed in this series against the Cowboys. They played 124 times. They were down 42-7 at the half. They allowed 389 yards of offense in 30 minutes. Heineke was 7 of 22 for 121 yards in the touchdown, two picks. Also punched a teammate. Kyle Allen came in 8 of 10 for 67 yards in the touchdown. Jayami Brown caught two passes for 53 yards. John Bates caught two for 45 in the touchdown. Gibson did not look good carrying the ball. I mean, ran six times for 29 yards, caught two passes for 29 yards in the touchdown. But the defense had holes everywhere. They finished with three sacks, five quarterback hits. They looked awful they looked awful uh, let's just take a quick look at their ir right now and they didn't add anybody to the covid list which is a nice situation so as you guys know the shazer everett is out because of that car accident that he got in on thursday curtis samuel uh, jamin davis william jackson cornerback and tyler larson uh, tyler larson's series uh, season's done Achilles injury is done. But Davis, Jackson, and Samuel were inactive last week and are questionable this week. And then their COVID list is not so bad. That you know, they're you know, is this a bounce back spot for Washington? Can we now obviously you'd wait because the public's going to be all over the Eagles, but is this a spot where we wait and bet the Washington football club or are they just a disaster? I don't know. I I wouldn't have much confidence in them. Uh when you see teams fighting on the sidelines, uh, especially your your probably your best two defensive players now that Chase Young is out, but Allen and Payne getting into it on the sidelines is such a bad look. I mean, if you are going to bet Washington, wait. Uh, I agree there, wait, because nobody is going to bet them. Uh, so if if that's who you want, you'll get a better number. I just don't know if they turn it around. I mean, right now they're looking in that game, anyways. They look like the worst team in the NFL. So, I, I personally would not uh, would not wait and bet them. I'm not interested in taking them at all. Uh, that said, I it's very hard to have any faith in this Eagles team. This Eagles team has been so inconsistent. You know, they're sitting 
uh, just above 500, and I can see them shitting the bed here and, and potentially losing this game. So I, I don't know. I, I Free play, I take the Eagles. Um, and, I, and I do think this is a full-scale meltdown for Washington. I wonder. I wonder if we can get a four and a half come Sunday. I wonder. Nuke Worker says Washington football team money line. Never bet the Eagles on the road. Gerald Jones says Philly on my card at three and a half all day. Hmm. Danny Lopez says I have to bet on the playoff team here with Washington. Can't look any worse, but no way I can put money on them. Real Deal Prime says don't force it. We got Chris Brady joining us. Great to see you, Chris. Hope all's well. I know it's very cold up in the Pacific Northwest right now. Uh, Robert Allen says, I tried to stop all of you from taking the Vikings. I cashed big on the Rams. You certainly did, Robert Allen. You certainly did, man. Respect there. Uh, I think I'm going to wait and bet Washington. I I mean, uh, with the Eagles using so many running backs, do you think that if they don't have – Miles Sanders, and they don't have Jordan Howard. That it doesn't. They'll be fine with Boston Scott carrying the load. Uh, yeah, because I don't. I mean, Miles Sanders is fine, but losing Miles Sanders isn't losing Derrick Henry. You're not losing an elite rusher. You're losing a fine running back, and you're replacing him with an okay running back. So I don't think that's a that's going to destroy their run game. Um, yeah, I, I hate to I, I hate to validate uh, Dennis Garcia's comments about running backs not mattering, but um, the good ones do, and the other ones less so. We Bell says the football team is terrible. They were down twenty zero in the first half versus Dallas at home two weeks ago. 